The San Francisco enclave known as Little Russia is filled with Russian culture, entertainment, and cuisine. But despite the colorful atmosphere, many businesses are now under more pressure than ever. This is from Ukraine. This is from Ukraine. Vargas Kazarian, the Armenian-American owner of Royal Market and Bakery, has family in both Ukraine and Russia. This is Ukraine. This is Ukraine. But it's also easy to spot Russian products too, which is why some customers have questioned that choice. A couple people come in asking them, oh, I'm telling, you know, what well, you can do it. This is business. I'm paying rent, I have electric bill, I have gas bill, water bill, people. What are you thinking? Telling the working people out here. Who's going to pay me? Nothing can do it. This is only business, nothing, nothing personal. Other shops have been told any affiliation with Russia just isn't good for business. In fact, I spoke to an employee at the bakery behind me who said people have actually come into their shop and said they should remove the word Russian from their sign. For, example, for 28 years, Michael Jenkin, who is from Belarus, has been running Russian-speaking tours for both Russians and Ukrainians. The last few months it's practically dead because nobody's coming. People from that part of the world cannot technically come here or they have no money or no means and have absolutely no mood for the vacations. At a Little Russia bookshop, Jenkin points out how it takes him time to distinguish whether a book should be classified as Ukrainian or Russian. Looking at these books and talking to people, two cultures is very much intervened. There are famous brands in Ukraine and in Russia as well. Okay. And we have them side by side uh, on the same shelf. The bookshop is owned by Alex Moretsky, a Russian-American of Jewish descent who lived in Ukraine for five years during his childhood. On the floor below is his market, Europa Plus, which has more than 5,000 food products, many from Ukraine and Russia. They called about this line of souffle from St. Petersburg. Moretsky says a customer asked him to replace the sweets with Ukrainian-produced ones. Moretsky points out he already had similar Ukrainian versions. Due to supply chain issues, he's having difficulty stocking his shelves with them, as well as many other products from both Ukraine and Russia. Spent twice more time uh, doing orders because uh, my vendors uh, just don't have just don't have enough products. I'm trying to get as much as I can because I know it's coming to an end. I can see that already. Just like grinding halt. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.